They were my best friends <laughs> growing up. The black can. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to leave the hotel. I was scared too. Meanwhile, you think it smelled like straight horse booty, bro. That was crazy. <laughs> that was Welcome to Tabletop Topics. We are back in blacker than ever. (laughs) (laughs) Guys, we took a we took a quick hiatus, uh, enjoying our uh, our Thanksgiving Thanksgiving break. Thanksgiving break. We're gonna be doing the same thing for Christmas too, all the way to New Year's, just to give you guys a heads up. But. uh, Welcome to Tabletop Topics, guys. We are back. Um, if you want to catch our episodes Tuesdays and Thursdays, we are on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. And if you want to catch our ugly mugs on YouTube, one word, Tabletop Topics. We also have our Triple T's Clips channel, and we have our TikTok channel, which also um, um, connects our links to it. So if you want to watch the short versions, you are interested, go ahead and click on that. And guys, please... When you, if you do decide to go on our YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, like, ring that notification, ring that notification, because anything will help us out. So Jeff, how was your Thanksgiving? I don't know. We did the same thing, Jeff. <laughs> I was with you on the same thing we did every year, Jeff. What did we do every year? Try to take over the world. <laughs> Thank you for watching Tabletop Topics. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, lose half of our level, lose half oh, of our bro. listeners. It's tough. Oh man, uh, it was dope. It was dope. We uh, finally caught up with Chantel. Everything's yes, good with her. That yeah, Chantel awesome. and Doug. Um, we showed up pretty late. We did. So we did. Yeah, like um, even um, I don't know. I think it's a Jeff thing. 
Yeah, even Skyler just runs in the even family. even Skyler said, Jeff, how was your uh, Thanksgiving? I said, Well, we went to Chantel's house and her Chantel and her husband's house, Doug, for Thanksgiving, and uh, we showed up late. He's like, It wouldn't be a Jeff Brothers if you guys didn't show, show up, up late. late. <laughs> right? It's like, come on, bro. Just when you thought the party was over. Wham! Time to crank it back up. Time to crank it back up. The Jeffs are here. Yeah, that's basically what we did. But um, um, yeah, we didn't we didn't really do Thanksgiving this year with fam because you know they don't really celebrate it. On top of that, mom was sick, so there's a lot of that going around. I noticed that she was sick. Yeah, so two days, uh, three. That's probably because I she doesn't live. I don't live with yeah, her. It was, it was it was a good minute because she did that whole week of like church stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. When she was uh, giving yeah. all the good, all the stuff to the yeah, she was doing a whole bunch of church stuff, and then I guess in the midst of that, she overworked herself and caught a bug. Quirk it mark. was COVID. <laughs> Everything's COVID it's now. It's always COVID. Back in the day, we called it being sick. Now it's has a name. Yeah, we found out because you know, remember the whole the the government. Gave out those free uh, COVID tests <laughs> by uh, I don't know, but, hey. smearing COVID bits on yeah, there. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I was <laughs> like, "Well, shit! What if they're all positive?" I know, right? Like, what if every government COVID test <laughs> is positive, positive? just like, bro, to get the we numbers keep up? This thing going, bro. yeah, what just to get the numbers up. We gotta keep this thing going, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. But uh, took care of her that week. Got her medicine. You helped her out too. Yeah. Yeah, woke up early, went and got her you know some alka seltzer. She's solid now. She's yeah, chilling. like I said, she wasn't sick that long, so that was good. But she's chilling. A lot of people aren't feeling well at work either. So, is do you think it's gonna be bad this year? Um, it already looks like it's starting to be bad this year. I mean, like, come on, bro. What What are we talking? You know, we talk? you know, bad. We, like twenty twenty one type. Nah, I don't think it's gonna be bad this year. I mean, the the only thing people have to deal with now is like the cold weather. Remember, la- monkeypox was last winter, wasn't it? It was. That's crazy. And nobody's even talking about it. No one talked about Two it. Two cases of monkeypox in the United States oh, disappeared they because trying, they found a different they controversy to, to focus on. Out, yeah, yeah. Kim, uh, Kim Kardashian and, and uh, Kanye West are more important. <laughs> people stop giving a fuck. I don't think it's Kim Kardashian. <laughs> I think it's only Kanye. Oh, it's just Kanye. Uh, yeah, let's just say that it's only Kanye. He, he's, Kanye. He's trending again because he went on. Uh, Alex Jones. And said, oh shit! And said, Hitler. I thought he was bankrupt. And he said, <laughs> "Not, not Kanye, Alex Jones." <laughs> Come on, man! <laughs> all that. All you that. really think that put a dent? Come on, bro. He's like pledged to some elite type. Oh of yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. He's gonna get his money. One way or another. They're going to be like, BlackRock, I need your help. As long as he's not in jail, <laughs> he's going to get his money one way or another. He's still holding... And I think this Kanye thing is going to help him, too, because a lot of people tuned in to that. To, the, to listen to it. Mm-hmm. So, what did, what was he doing on Alex Jones? Um, I guess he was... I Like, a lot of the, the uh, that type of media is just kind of getting his insight on it, you know, just talking to him about the controversy and... Like, just kind of seeing his viewpoint on, you know, what's going on and how he's responding or reacting to all these things happening yeah. to him. Um, and where is it? Where is it? It was a clip. Yeah, well, he, I guess he was... Talking about, like, we need to stop casting people in certain, you know, accusing people of certain things. Without any evidence. Uh, no, man. Like, how you gonna speak for Kanye? No, I, I don't know what's going on. All right, let me say it. I'm let just me say the guess. thing. Stop guessing. <laughs> <laughs> stop guessing. <laughs> oh, man. So, pretty much, uh, damn, what was I saying again? Stop accusing people of... Oh, stop, like, putting people in a certain box and calling them X, Y, Z because of a certain viewpoint they have. He's like, uh, I see good things in Hitler, too, because, you know, we wouldn't have X, Y, Z if it wasn't for Hitler. And people just, like, went nutty. 
and just went nutty. And I'm just like, this ain't helping you, Kanye. No, but he gonna keep going. He ain't Kanye easy if he doesn't do it, right? Who's gonna stop him? I don't Nobody. Know. I don't know. The guy's Not worth even the elites. The guy's worth three point three billion. Exactly. He's, That's nothing. He's moving different. He could truly say what he wants. Exactly. And who 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 uh yeah who got him back after they dropped him? Are you sure they got him back? Where'd you hear this? I need verified proof. I need verified proof too. Like not no underground shit. We can't just be throwing out some shit like that, bro. Like, cause he still wouldn't like. I wouldn't be seeing him still eating shit online if that actually happened. They'd be tearing Adidas apart. Adidas will continue to sell Kanye West shoes designed without the. Yeah, they didn't re. They didn't re. Oh, okay. Yeah. So does he still get problems? No, from they him? just own his brand now. They kicked him out. They own his brand. It's like you and a company make mugs. You do some bullshit. We out. own it, but we're gonna still sell your mugs. We're gonna because it has your mugs. name on it. Yep. We're gonna sell your mugs. Absolutely. That so yeah, absolutely good. not. He's not gonna get back in that dude. Come on, Adidas ain't crazy. <laughs> Adidas ain't crazy. Oh man, it's real life. That's crazy, man. Other than that, I forgot why we even started talking about this. Why were we talking about this? You don't even know. No. How did we get on this? Yeah, how did we get on this? Oh, you said people were focused on Kim Kardashian. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, not necessarily Kim Kardashian. Okay. Yeah. All right, so go ahead. Go ahead what? I don't know. You were saying something. People were stuck on Kim Kardashian and Kanye. Instead of focused on what? Something. (laughs) (laughs) Something, man. I don't know. I got amnesia. No, but um, I mean, I was... uh, off that topic, but like I said, our Thanksgiving was um, our Friendsgiving, even though we were late to it. Um, we just we just kind of caught up um, with with Chantel. She told us her story. She might even be coming on. Yeah. And then we met her nephew. Yes. His twenty year old nephew, young kid, very bright, came from um, North Carolina or South Carolina. Okay. South Carolina. South Carolina. Okay. Came from South Carolina. Um, very intellectual kid. Uh, um, very insightful. Very insightful. Very open minded, and um, uh, he can learn a lot. He he wants to he wants to grow as a person, and he wants to do something bigger than himself. So um, we're kind of going to kind of stay in contact with him and just have a conversation with him and see where that leads. But that was very awesome. Um, uh, doing that. <sighs> what else yeah the store that they sent me to naples for two weeks we f- we got that done early oh that happened bro I, man i was just like bro you, sh- you were spending so much time at that store i just i was just like yeah oh. and it was it was funny too because um usually they'll get people from naples to do it but because we did it so fast they're like all right we got three more stores opening we're gonna send the same people again <laughs> you, again yeah yeah so the beach is gonna open back up is there a benefit in this nope other than you get recognized by big people and they might promote you. Yay! <laughs> uh, which, uh, exactly. So, That's so, uh, so that, that, that happened. We got the store done. Today was their grand opening. So I don't know how that went because we weren't I part. bet everyone went straight to the bar. <laughs> Guarantee it's you. like, fuck the subs. Bro, you know the bars gotta, are the new You know thing. what we got to do? We got to, like, uh, literally go on, uh, um, facebook or youtube or tiktok or something like that and look for the pores and see if somebody posted any videos or club that's Pup. such a weird name the pores pores they, they just call it pores with an s that's so weird pores yeah so gotta check that Publix out looks pores yeah i think they got the idea from one of the stores up north so they're trying to do the same thing too I don't know, man. Hey, man. It is what it is. So we got that done. So the entire week of, the entire Thanksgiving week, we weren't even at our store. They could have literally just called it the pub. Yeah. Poor. That's too obvious. Oh, though. That's not, who gives a fuck? That's literally in your the name. The pub? Yeah. Pub sub. Go to the pub. Come on, bro. Pub it's pours. Literally, it's all interconnected. It's all in the you store. You want some pub beer? Yeah. Let's go to the pub hub, get a pub sub, and stop by the pub. 
Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah, that's true. And the sitting in the eating that's, and sitting areas right there. Come too. on, bro. That's, that's nice. a missed opportunity. Pours. Yep. Pours. I wonder who came up with that. Pours. Wow. Wow. So original. Wow. <laughs> Pours. So original. So yeah, we kind of did that for the the last two weeks. Um, but it was crazy, man. Um, they literally had us uh, driving all the way out to Naples compared to where I live. That's about uh, almost 60 miles, but uh, one way and 60 miles back just to get that store ready. And of course, the a week before they open, they bring in the Naples people. And of course, they look like they're the ones that did everything, but it was us. So we're like the we're like the elves that wet the grass. Oh, in the morning. Uh-huh. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all came in like Santa Claus. Yeah, so basically. Oh wait, wait, wait. What what do they call them? It's that one story where the elves. Elf on the show. N- no, like they would make shoes or some shit. The shoe making. Elves. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. What yeah, you're talking and about. then they would disappear. And disappear, and you have brand new shoes. And you'd have brand new yeah, shoes. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Damn, that's an old ass story. What the fuck? That's so we kind of we kind of did that. Um, and of course, uh, did a little bit of Black Friday shopping, you know. Oh, what'd you get? I got a sound speaker. A sound speaker. A sound bar. I'm old school. <laughs> I love it, man. I got every, it. every single time, it's like, damn, he's getting older. Yep. <laughs> he's just saying shit, bro. Next, I would be saying malarkey and yeah, whippersnappers. <laughs> God damn whippersnappers, get off my lawn. I never understood that. I never got that either. Like the whole lawn thing. Nah, never got that. Like, do you not walk on your grass? Like, I don't know. I don't know, that's just weird to me. It's grass. It is grass. It is grass. It's grass. Well, Florida ain't got no grass. Yeah. Florida got ass grass, bro. <laughs> Florida grass is Florida shit. Florida weed. Like natural grass. Grass, grass it's like just blades no. stabbing you yeah but um or you get sand spurs go ahead but yeah yeah so and of course you slowly started moving in but that's because you're trying to catch up with everything else mm-hmm. yeah a lot of things planned this month and uh you're gonna be exhausted. my personal life you're gonna be exhausted doing it i'm gonna be tired socially tired yeah it's gonna be fun you gotta mentally prepare yourself it's gonna drain me it's gonna drain me so what are you and doing? And I'm just gonna go into sleep mode for a couple months, especially the beginning of the year. Beginning of the year, you man, you need to chill out. That's workout year, bro. What you yeah, talking you about? Need, Let's you go. Need to calm the fuck down. We had our fun. Let's get back to work. Yep. Let's get back to work. Yeah, you're right. You're right. End of the year. Um, end of the year is like wrap up what you're gonna what you're gonna do, and mm-hmm. then plan out what you're gonna do at the beginning of the year and where you. You, you're going to try to be by that and try to reset goal. You plan before the beginning of the year or at the beginning of the year? Before, so you can know what you're doing. Mm, I don't like that. No? Oh. I'm not. Well, when you take off, like when we don't record. Because it's like I save next year for next year. But then when you plan at the end of the year, you know what you're going to do next year. Instead of trying to plan what you're going to do next year. Because you waste time. Because you waste time. Mm -hmm. That's time well spent. Mm -hmm. Doing nothing. Just (laughs) thinking. (laughs) Yeah. But you know. know, I'm working. You know damn well you ain't going to be thinking. I'm just going to think about what I'm going to do next. Right. That's the hardest part. Mm. (laughs) That's the hardest part when starting anything. Thinking about it. You know, I notice as I get older that I have less time to do, like, not frivolous things, but, um, like, say you want to just sit down and, like, play video games or watch a movie or even just relax. Mm -hmm. Never have time because you're constantly doing something. Is it you never have time or you're not mentally in that space? I'm not mentally in that space to want to do. That's what it is. So it's like... Because I feel like uh, there's so much to do that I cannot take a break to do what I would like to do. If you understand what I'm saying, you can't just disconnect and be like, "All right, I'm just gonna do exactly this. fuck all." If I woke up, if I woke up a millionaire one day, I'd be like, "I don't give a shit. I could do whatever I want." 
But as of right now, I feel like there's plenty of work. And even if I was a millionaire, I feel like I'd still... You'd still have Yeah, I'd still want to work. I still feel like I got to go here to do this and go there to do that. Like You got to find shit to do. Exactly, exactly. So it's like I can't just not not do anything. That's crazy. I'm going to die working. It is a sickness. It is. <laughs> it is a sickness Man, to I, the highest order. I, I love Apple, <laughs> bro. Oh uh, man, Apple and Preach awesome guys. Go Abba, ahead, check out their channel. Abba, Abba, Abba. I'm pretty sure everyone's heard about. Them. Yep. No, not everybody. If you're on the internet, you've heard of. Them. Not everybody. If you're on the internet, nah, not if you're in this space, you've you've heard of. Them. Yeah, if you're in this space, they okay. Yeah, see the that? End. We the end. The end. That's it. It is a sickness. To the highest order. <laughs> you oh, come man. on this platform and try to accuse us. Of being this, it is a sickness. <laughs> no man, no man, they're they're cool, they're cool though. But uh, yeah, so um, it's just like you said, it's just trying to get out that mindset. I know we're I, we're working twice as hard now, but I know we're not going to be doing that when we get where we need to get later. I hope not. Or do you feel like that's what it is? <laughs> I hope not. I don't know what the future is going to be. Yeah, that's true. Shit, I could trip over a 21 karat diamond tomorrow. Oh, fuck Damn. It. That'd be dumb as shit. Yeah, it would be. It would be nice. That'd be dumb as shit. Be nice. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Bruce turned eight years old on the 21st. That old motherfucking dog. Was he old when he parkoured off my chest? That was crazy. That was so unexpected. Would you like to tell the story? I wish that was on camera. Well, it's not even really a story. It was just so unexpected. Would you like to tell a short? I, I got this. I yeah, go ahead. All right, so I come home. What was it? I went to work at 2 a.m., right? Was, Holy shit. This starts with the yeah, beginning of your the day. The beginning of day. Holy crap. This is a long story. This guy. is a script? So oh, no. Oh, I, I get up, no. I get up at 12.45 to go to work at 2. I get there, I work a, a long nine, ten hour shift. Come home to my brother on my couch. <laughs> let me finish my story. Let me finish, let me, let me finish my story. You know, let me finish my story. What are you, what are you, you, why are you laughing? I'm trying to be serious here. There's All right. no fucking way. Sorry. So my brother's on my couch watching uh, Wednesday's Netflix show. Highly recommend it. He's like, Jeff, you're falling asleep. I'm like, yeah, man. I've been up since uh, 1245. And then he's like, you should take a nap. And then he's like, I'll take Bruce outside. Takes Bruce outside, brings Bruce back inside. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you dying right now? I'm trying to tell my story, Jeff. I'm trying to tell Trying to be serious. Hold on, let me fix the camera. All right. So, this dog that's eight years old, weighing approximately 85 pounds, has midget legs, decides when I close my eyes to take a nap, because Jeff's like, ah, oh, Jeff, go ahead and take a nap. He decides to parkour off my chest out of nowhere. I'm like, bro. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> that shit was crazy. Jeff was out. My chest still hurts. <laughs> Jeff was <laughs> Jeff was sleeping peaceful, head all knocked over. And then he took four paws to the chest. Bro, that was crazy. And then that little horse kick, and then he pranced off after he did that shit. That shit took me by surprise. <laughs> I was like, man, I can't take, I can't sleep no more. That, that dog, I've never seen him that do that before. Wild to me. That's some shit I've seen Icarus do, because Icarus is the... But he's light and nimble. No, I know, but like where he just has a random like burst of energy, yeah. and then he'll just bounce off the wall. He'll just jump off the wall for no reason. I don't know why he chose your chest, though. No. He's like, that's, that's the crazy. biggest part of your body. I'm that's choosing crazy. it. That's that's the one part that I can handle because I don't want to break your knees. That's crazy, <laughs> man. No, nah, I lost it. That was hilarious. No, nah, yeah, I, I mean, didn't, I didn't see, I did not expect that. That was hilarious. That man had me dying in laughter. Fucking and then he looks at me like he didn't do anything. Like he did nothing. Yep, doing the innocent face. And the when he droops his ears down. 
So that was that was that was my day yesterday. But no, yeah, happy birthday to you, Bruce. Uh, we've had him for three years now. Cause I feel like it's been more than three years. Well, cause he he barely turned uh, six when we found him. Cause it was November twenty fourth when we found him, and he turned. It six. wasn't twenty nineteen we found him. No. Twenty twenty we found yeah. him. Yeah. He was born twenty fourteen. Of of uh, November November twenty first twenty fourteen. Mm. So he had barely turned six when we found him. So I don't know how long he'd been out, out on the street or how. Oh, long. he's well mannered. He is, but that's why I was saying he's probably raised. Okay, by all some. right. Let uh, me not say well mannered. He's good natured. <laughs> that's it. That's he's, as far as it goes. He's nice to everybody. He's nice. Yeah. He's as nice long guy. as as long as we don't perceive anybody as a threat, which I doubt he'd even care. No. Nah. Just show him a biscuit, and he's betraying us. Yep. Look that's at that. His it. tail's already moving. He heard biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dog. Oh man, he's staring at you, isn't he? Absolutely. Oh man. So, Jeff, what's up? What's going on, man? What's new? Are you um, ready for the? You ready for twenty twenty three, man? None of it is real. <laughs> All right. The number sounds fake. It's everything is fake. Everything is fake. I don't know. Maybe I'm like disassociating or something. I don't know. I think it's awesome because yesterday you and I watched a. Uh, uh, a presentation by Elon Musk. He, oh, the Neuralink? The Neuralink thing. And, and uh, what's your thought on it? Okay. I'm going to be a very big, not skeptic. I see the progress, but I'm going to take it with a grain of salt. Of course, yeah. Because it's always too good to be true. Right. Something like that is always, for some reason, 30 years off. Yeah. So you think we're 30 years from like, that technology? Like legitimately, like not being gimmicky? Yeah. Like the full potential? Yeah. Okay. I think I think stem cell uh, uh, CRISPR research will outpace this infinitely Do you faster. think it's, if, if any of you guys don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about Neuralink. It's a device that they implant in the brain that can help. The nervous, certain parts of the, your body. Nervous system. Nervous system. You know, yeah, yeah. Just increase communication between. The brain and the body. And the brain, the body, uh, uh, digital interfaces, computers. So the signal that, the, that, yeah. So the signal that the, for the body, the signal that your brain can't sense a specific uh, cell, uh, nerve cells. Uh, Neuralink will help with that. And of course, it'll also help you communicate with technology. So if you want to turn on your TV, for example, you can just say turn on the tv but that's what i'm saying like yeah it's gimmicky though yeah yeah exactly and, you and, what I'm and that's what i was gonna say is it because um do you think they're trying to what is what what do you think their end goal is do you think know, they're trying gamify to gamify reality life no in the sense of like how far do you think they're gonna try to go with it in order to try to release it because he even said human trials are coming up next year okay but like what is it doing yeah how is it going to change the You get what I'm saying? Like, you're showing me. Uh, I'm not. Uh, okay. Cause Give I me your opinion on it. Go ahead. Tell okay, me what you're thinking. I promise. It's It It sounds cool. I know. It looks so of cool. Of course. And, you know, and, and then you get this idea of, like, you know, futuristic and da, da, da. But, mm -hmm. like, in for real type shit. How is this going to help genetic disorders? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you're telling me it's going to make you uh, uh, make people who are born blind see. Uh, people who have like macular degeneration. Degenerations, and yeah. You see what I'm saying? What point is your nerves connecting to your your eyes mm -hmm. or your retinas going to do when they're literally deteriorating? How's this going to help people who suffer paralysis through uh, uh muscular dystrophy, dystrophy yeah. you know or people with osteoporosis you know shit like that like the technology part okay that's cool you know what i'm saying because yeah you're improving one aspect mm -hmm. of paralysis people who can't communicate uh and 
in in uh, uh, regular means. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, besides that, talking to a computer, how is this really helping us? You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't want you to be selling me an iPhone just to, you know? So, like, in his presentation, instead of showing us that, even though it hasn't hit human trials, like, even if there was an animal that had those symptoms right. instead of showing us that he just showed us a monkey that knew how to ask and use yeah the, ask for fruit ask for types and like things. yeah i get a communication but brothers um, like that's nothing the new. technology has so much potential no, no no that's nothing new that technology already exists yeah like communicating through brain waves yeah you know what i'm saying so like me just putting the chip in my head isn't pushing that technology forward you just took something that already exists and then put it in somebody's brain and then put it in someone's brain you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so it's like beyond that what is it really doing did you watch the rest of the highlights mm -hmm. the i went when 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 i got home i i sat down and i watched the, rest of the highlights and I got you. they were just kind of showing you rehashing yeah like they showed you a demo of it the implantation and then they showed you like theoretical, you know, uh, uh, demonstrations of how this could uh, bridge the gap between like severed spinal mm -hmm. uh, 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 nervous tissue and shit like that. And it's like, okay, that's like ner uh, ner uh, neural damage. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. yeah, I can see that. But it's like, you can't. The way they're pushing it as it's this upgrade. Yeah, because like he said uh, at the beginning, um, it's like the iPhone 1. Mm -hmm. Every year or and a half or two, you would get an upgrade to the next version. You're not going to uh, have iPhone 1 technology and an iPhone 14. Yeah, but you know what I'm scale. saying? Yeah, so I, like, I see what you're saying. Uh, you know, it's that yin-yang bullshit. And you think it's, it's like, 30 years off or 50 years like, off? the vision that he's talking about where it's like it really benefits humanity mm -hmm. absolutely okay where it actually benefits humanity and you're not just upgrading software to talk to computers and connect to the internet because it's basically just taking the cell phone out of the person's hand and putting it in their head and it doesn't change anything because you just literally put a cell phone in the human body. i could have done that with a contact yeah 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 you're right you see what i'm saying I could have done that with an earpiece that understands me mm -hmm. better. I could increase that shit. You know, there's so many ways to read brain waves without intruding into the brain. In the, the actual brain. And, so it's just like, damn, you know? You were hoping for more than just yeah. what they showed. Yeah. Like, you what was your, what was your expectation? Like, what were you hoping for? Like, all right, if we've already reached the stage of, yeah, we're testing on animals. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, what about the animals who are, like, suffering from a debilitating disease or yeah, and some that's, shit like that's that? that's what I was saying, too. Like, you they, know? Didn't, they didn't show any of that. They didn't show any of that. It was, like, perfectly healthy animals, and it's like, well, if you wanted to see results, why didn't you, you know, find, like... An animal with a disease or a, or or, a disorder. Or, or disorder or a defect yeah. or something like that. Or an injury or something like that. And try to restore some type of motor function for that animal. Or increase its ability to communicate. Mm -hmm. And be like, hey, we taught this animal how to communicate through this. And it's paralyzed. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But now it understands we can read its brain waves. And it's now communicating. Like, that's a step further. Because a human, a human's intelligent. Yeah, a human's so, gonna want to know. Exactly, it's gonna already know how to communicate. But to teach like a paralyzed monkey or something like that, like, hey, communicate what you want to me, and we can literally teach you, even though you're a paralyzed monkey. That's true. No, I get it. I hear what you're saying. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't know. It was lackluster. I don't know. Maybe I'm asking for too much. No, you're not because <laughs> because if 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 he has a vision for that type of future, you would expect more from a presentation. 
So it's like it's like we've been waiting what four years for the Cybertruck and we haven't gotten one yet, and all we keep hearing is twenty twenty three. Not a glimpse, not a, a quiver, not even a fake trailer showing what the design might look like. All we heard was put a hundred dollars down and reserve yours. And then it, it, it would be sad if he released a whole bunch and then it wasn't what he presented. You see what I'm saying? So I get what you're saying. Well but, like you hype something up and then when you finally get the revealed product it's not what you wanted. I don't know. I think it's harder for him to achieve what he wants to do here than it would be in China. But China's only limiting factors don't let your money intrude on my government. Gotcha. Only increase my efficiency. Here he has he has to accrue <clears throat> political and social sway. Which is why he did what push he, he's ideas. doing what he's doing. Because you look at China where he's doing his Tesla Gigafactories He's outputting one car every 60 seconds. Wow. In China. Compared to here where he has to you know, tiptoe around there, it. There still has to be a, there's still a human element in that. And his factories haven't really got off the ground like that. Mm -hmm. Than they would have in China. China, it's like, hey, China, I want to build this factory here. Mm -hmm. China's going to sign workers. You know how fast they fucking build shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Here, it's a lot of red tape. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. So he has to do a lot to convince his... To push whatever his vision is through. Because he also has to convince the populace. That's true. In China, people don't give a fuck what Elon Musk is doing. Well, because like you said, it's one it's one mind, one body, right. me metaphorically speaking. Right. So in America, it's like United States, but different states per state. Right. Different states with right. different laws per, per state. You know so saying? it's like... like it's more yeah. difficult to do to get his whatever he needs to do across. You don't give a fuck about Elon Musk in China. It's like, oh yeah, the guy that gave us a bunch of Teslas. Yes. Built a gigafactory and gave us a bunch of Teslas. Teslas. That's it. Here, he's the guy who bought Twitter, who Dogecoin, Starlink, Coins, Starlink. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's different opinions. SpaceX, mm -hmm. all that shit. You know, so it's like there's so much more he has to do. To really convince... Hoops he has to cross. Yeah. And not saying that I believe whatever his vision is, but, like, for him to... to for you to really get a full scope of what he's trying to do, mm -hmm. like, there'd have to be more public and uh, uh, private agreement on where he's going. Yeah, of course. Well, like sense. you said, like they always say, too, if it doesn't benefactor the politicians, the elites, the, the people with the money, then he can't really move... Well, this is for the people with the money. Okay, okay. So it's not the, moving as fast as he right, wants it as to. He wants it to. Okay, that makes sense. Here, he has to look for the people with the money. Over there, it's like, hey, she, I'm gonna improve the efficiency of your economy. Okay, here, build your factory. That simple. It's that simple. Gotcha. Yeah, nope. So. Oh uh, yeah, I just but remember. granted, those are two different things. Mm-hmm. One, you're building cars. The other, you're... Messing with somebody's You're brain. messing with biology, technology. Like, there's so many parts of that that you're really kind of getting into. Yeah. And the fact that there's a specialist for every organ in your fucking body. Yeah, that's <laughs> crazy. That's how risky this shit is. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if you put that into context, like, what he's aiming for, it's not even just... Brain communicates with body. Mm -hmm. You know, so. But if the brain is everything, mm -hmm. then. You know? Because it's like when your brain dead, like, you need machines to keep you alive. You're alive, yeah. Because your brain isn't sending that electrical the input. signals in order for your body to. Your body to. So would you say that would be a, a pro to having? The Shit, nerve? I don't know. Because it's like, how do you make your brain communicate with your body to produce more proteins? Yeah. Or is that a reaction of your body? Like a natural reaction of, you know, whatever cells in your body. Like, let's say you're. Your immune system discovers a new virus. Mm -hmm. 
Is it communicating with the other cells? To let them know that like this... Like, personal to personal? Like, at some point, it's going to communicate with the brain, hey, some shit's going on. Mm-hmm. Activate all this. You know what I'm saying? But it's like... That's really technical. You see how technical that yeah. gets? Like, is this thing going to be able to... You tell your brain, produce more antibodies. Will it produce antibodies? Or whatever this neural link is connected to, it says, hey, the your brain is saying that your white blood cell count has decreased or increased. Or so increase like it or decrease it. You know what I'm saying? Like some shit like that. Do you want to in- in- increase insulin production mm-hmm. in your body? And then your brain stimulates your pancreas or some shit to produce insulin. To produce insulin. Can it go as far as to healing like cuts faster? That's some X-Men shit. I uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you could just probably I don't know. Yeah. You see what I'm but saying? But that's why you said it's probably thirty years off because yeah. depending on how far like, they want to get with it. What are you selling me? Yeah. 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 What are you what are you trying to do with this? Where are you trying to go? Are with you it? just do you just want me to talk to Alexa or Google? Like that's what you're saying. You're saying you know, is it is it medical or is it just technological? Like, yeah, it, what are we doing? Is he trying to fuse both? But what are we doing here? Are you trying to make money? Like, are you for real? Oh, fuck yeah. Remember, remember what he said. He says, just like you update your phone, you would have to update the technology. And he says, I figured out a way to do it without having to keep opening your head up and replacing the, the Neuralink. He said that. Was he going to do? Make it a fucking chip slot? Yeah, that's what I was about to I say. I fucking bet. <laughs> yeah. I fucking pull, bet. Pull a, um, what's the name of that show on Netflix? I know what you do. Where they had the card stack yes, yeah. in their neck, yeah. and he kept like switching. He was so, like a fugitive for like thousands of years. years. Him and his that's sister. Crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. But so, uh, yeah, man. Like, and that's why. I'm, and that's why. I'm but thinking. like, what are you trying to like? Okay, cool. Ooh, cyborg. Blah blah blah. Like, what's the end goal? What's the end goal? Where are you trying to go with it? Exactly. Are you gonna try to sell a product to? heal humanity or are you gonna try to sell a product so i can turn on my iphone yeah, you, or text my mom I don't know, man. or drive my car like i don't think transhumanism is gonna solve the world's problems like transhumanism what is that to people okay, who don't know it's just like this idea where humans are destined to just be whatever mm-hmm. whatever you be whatever you want yeah uh, whatever you. you want do you understand that uh-huh. like no, I don't understand. Like, technology will just grant you the ability to just be whatever Every you want. want. Yep. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, I'm just a witness, bro. <laughs> I should, I'm just a witness. I'm just sitting in the corner watching the yeah. evolution of humanity. I don't, I don't have the answers. I'm just a witness, you know. But, yeah, that's that's just, I, I, in, in my opinion, the basis of transhumanism. Just like we can just be whatever we want. Fuck race, fuck gender, fuck biology. Like, we can be robot cyborgs. We can edit our genes, become, you know, I don't know, whatever you want. Whatever you fucking Humanity want. Humanity is no longer in the cards, basically. You know what I'm saying? But that's a whole nother Pandora's and box. And, of course, that's going to create conflict. But, like you said, that's a whole Pandora's box. But it's like, how do you create conflict when everyone is whatever they Because want? people always have their opinions on Absolutely. what is right and Absolutely. what is wrong. That's the thing. So Blaspheme! Yeah, exactly. Blaspheme! There you go. There you go. <laughs> Blaspheme! Blaspheme! Exactly, but hell? that's what I'm saying. People always have their opinions on what Blaspheme. is right, what is right, and what is wrong. And it's like they are, they're always like you said. Someone's I- ideologies are all, they're always going to think their ideology is right compared to somebody else that thinks their ideology is right. So fucking sucks. it's it's a conflict of interest. That's what that it is. sucks. I just want to believe what I want to believe in peace. In peace, it's bum. In peace. Why can't and we? Those who are open to just. Why can't we be like animals? No, I don't want to. Just animal. Absolutely not. No, in the sense of, like. No, I would not just want to animal (laughs) every fucking day. I don't care how listless. Oh man. Well, that that, it's too late for the cows and the pigs. That's oh yeah, the FDA and the chickens. 
The FDA finally uh, approved cultured milk. <laughs> That's amazing. Would you like to explain that to our audience? It's amazing. What is cultured meat? It's Jeff? lab grown meat. So they just take whatever type of tissue they want to produce. So let's say they take a sample of a cow. Like a cow. Well, what cut, well, well, what cut you, of meat? Well, you know? uh, a shoulder. Okay, yeah. So they take a sample of meat from that because each muscle cell is different. Different, yeah, exactly. Where. Where it's located you got on the, the rib, cow. you got the shoulder, you and got the tenderloin. And you can loin. just isolate that whatever, uh-huh. you know, and then reproduce it in a laboratory in a solution and then grow meat. Just have that cell reproduce endlessly. So you're eating lab-grown cancer. That's what you're <laughs> lab. That's literally cancer in a tube. <laughs> You know what cancer is, right? Over overactive growth cells. Yeah, that's cells. when a cell just won't stop reproducing. So it's a your cell's supposed to die, but instead of dying, it just keeps reproducing, which so, turns into cancerous yeah. cells. Yeah, that's halfway cancer. That's what that is. So right? my question, my question to you the other day was when we were at Sam's, was are they going to charge more than they do regular? Of course, meat? they have to. They're going to sell. So it So do you think right? this is? The, do you think this is the new? Like fake meat. It's not fake meat, but you know how beyond meat is. It's expected. beyond fake meat. <laughs> beyond, beyond. To infinity and beyond meat. <laughs> okay, so. What the fuck? You know how. You know, okay, so you know how uh, beyond meat, um, plant based food is expensive. Do you think when they come out with this new version? Because the only reason why they created Beyond Meat is because uh, shortages and a lot of people are trying to go. <laughs> go ahead, Jeff. <laughs> <sighs> but that's what I'm saying Because we Remember when we used to go Sam's We got that giant plate of chicken breast For like 9 to 12 dollars Yeah all that meat's fake bro <laughs> We just eating fake meat Everything Every Like come on bro You lie to me if you tell me you're eating real chicken every day Bruh What the hell But that's what I'm saying So like 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 plates, uh, uh, a plate of of uh, chicken breasts were like nine to twelve dollars. Now they're twenty two to thirty. They're twenty two to thirty. Now they're twenty two to thirty dollars, and that was literally a year and a half ago, or yeah, a year and a half ago. Mm-hmm. And um, what I'm saying is, with the lab grown meat, do you think they're going to make that more or the same? Because the question is, what's the cost to make that lab? It's going to be meat? more. It's going to be more until it reaches a point where like. <laughs> Actual chickens are obsolete, That's you know. So do you so, think there's going to be an overpopulation of chickens? Free-range chicken. That's gonna like be wild chickens. And wild cows. That's going to be tough. They're going to be fucking hunted, bro. <laughs> they're going to get hunted they're to gonna be, oblivion. They're going to be hunting season They're going to be hunted. Jeff, the wolves, coyotes, jaguars, whatever, mountain lions, leopards, cougars are hunting the fuck out of those cows, bro. Wolves, it's going to be a feast. The, the wolf population is going to go nuts. The wolf population is going to go nuts. I don't know if bears eat cows, bro, but they get, bro, they're getting in on that too. Damn. Bro. That's The crazy. day we stop needing cows, you're you're going to have a you're going to have one cow that powers a country. That's true. Only the only reason and the, the only reason why I say that is because people are moving away from milk. Because they realize milk is not good for your body. You can have one cow that powers a country. Yeah. And everyone's going to be eating plant, drinking plant milk. Damn. Or they're going to allow you one month a year to eat <laughs> real meat. And real. <laughs> like that uh, Netflix show Beastars where the, the meat-eating animals in a oh, can't eat meat. They have to eat a plant-based type of meat. That just reminds me of Zootopia. But they don't eat meat. Like a dark zoo. Well, yeah, a dark Zootopia. Yeah. Because remember, they had to deal with meat eaters and shit. Like yeah, that yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. They had to do with all that. Yeah, man. I don't know, bro. I'm just a witness. I'm just here for the ride, bro. Yeah. Are you enjoying it? It's amazing. <laughs> and it's free. Yep. This shit is free. No subscription. No. Nah. Nothing on TV can in- entertain me as much as real life. Real life. It's amazing. That's why you. Uh, that's why you don't want to get Isekai anymore, right? No, I don't need to be. I'm already in one. There you go. But I'm not the main character, right? Yeah. 
So, the trailer that we watched the other day. What trailer? Cocaine Bear. Cocaine Bear. What do you think about that? <laughs> you know what? You it, know, it's based off a true story, right? It doesn't matter what I think, Jeff. Because I'm living in this reality. Exactly. I'm, I'm just watching it. I can now believe there was a cocaine bear. Because it's based off true events. There's an article on it, actually. He did go on a rampage, killed a couple of people. After uh, eating an entire brick of cocaine. Of cocaine, yes. That's some Dr. Roxo <laughs> shit, bro. That's some Dr. Roxo <laughs> shit. Cocaine. That's crazy. <laughs> Rick, please. Rick, please. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's how I know Rick loves Jerry, bro. <laughs> oh, That's how God. I know Rick loves oh, Jerry. My God. That's crazy. <laughs> Rick, please. <laughs> Heck no. Oh, my God. Heck no. Oh, shit. But yeah, dude. I don't know, man. I'd I'd love to believe that's really far off, but you know, the Neuralink thing. Yeah, but anything's possible. Yeah, like you said, by twenty thirty, a lot of things are gonna happen, and that's why. Um, like but that's I know the thing. You, like you've been talking about the singularity a lot. Like that. That's still. I think that's still. Shit, I can't say that. Because you don't know. Because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how efficient or powerful uh, artificial general intelligence because is they'll only be. tell us what they want. Because like they could start this thing up and be like, you know, okay, it's calculating an equation, and then it just goes nuts and just starts spewing out numbers. And then people just in equations, and then everything we knew just got doubled by like. Oh, like it pushes us literally leaps and bounds into... Like, instantly. Yeah. And then we just lose control. You see what I'm saying? Like... The singularity. We set parameters for its calculations or its commands, and then it's just like, I solved all of that in a split second. And now I've found a way to do this, that, this, and this. Right. X, Y, Z. And then at that point, we just answer to whatever that is. God Google. She knows all. They know. It knows all. It knows all. Just bow before it. I don't know. I, it almost seems kind of symbolic, right? Like, you named your company Google. What does Google actually stand for? It's the number one with a hundred zeros after it. Really? Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. Google's just such an unattainable number. Yeah. It's there. It exists, but no one's ever going to count to it. That makes sense. Yeah. You know? Like, uh, ask Google how long it would take to count to one Google. The term Google itself is creative spelling of Google with a G O L, a number equal to 10 to the 100th power or more. Uh, an unfathomable number. Google was coined in the 1930s and is attributed to the 90, uh, 90 year old nephew of American mathematician Edward Ken Kanzner. But yeah, Google that. Um, how long would it take to count to one Google? So what is how it? long would it take to count to one Google? <laughs> you didn't have to add the emphasis. To it. According to Quora, that's an unimaginably long time. Even a computer that could count a billion numbers per second would still take over years to count to a Google. Even a billion such computers counting in parallel a billion numbers per second would still take over years to count to a Google. She knows all. There you go. That's why it's like, ah, that's pretty symbolic, Google. You could just do whatever you want. So it says a Google second equals one year. Oh, I mean, a Google second equals two years. Hmm. Wow. A Google second is two years. That's stupid. So, infinity. That's stupid. That's how many seconds are in two years. That's crazy. That's stupid. A Google second. That's stupid. Yeah, I don't know, man. 
I like to think about the future, but I try not to get lost in it. Lost in the sauce? Yep. Um, like I said, too, again, we are just bystanders going through it. But it is amazing when we do see, like, a presentation and see how far they got. Because, again, technology could be further along than it is. But they're just releasing it because they think us as humans cannot handle it. Damn. I don't know. What's going to change? I don't know. Is there anything that's going to change humanity? Do you think... Do you see any... The tipping point? Like, flashpoint events happening before the end of this decade? Mm. I would say... How does the wave of the, the, the world feel like it's moving? As far as I can see, view, mm-hmm. it doesn't seem like it's going in the right direction. It's like an instant... Uh, instant Insta- instantaneous no instant existential ex- existential there you go <laughs> crisis everywhere you look i know it's the news and i don't pay attention to it but it's like yeah but that's what i'm saying because it's like it, there's like something going on any and everywhere like every little thing is just accumulating. do you think it's just like the reason why you're seeing more of this is because something in that realm is accelerating yes so in order to distract the populace and this is just my opinion. I'm not saying this is a fact that this is what I read online. In order to distract the populace from what is really going on or wherever they're trying to move the goalposts, um, they have to put out little things here and there. So it's like it's like uh, when you were saying um, when Samsung came out with the, the, the Flip 4 and you're like, when did this happen? Right. So it could have been happening. Uh, I didn't even know they had like a Z Flip. A two, Z Flip Two, Z exactly. Flip it's like three, it's whatever. like it's been it. They've been coming out the phones, but not low key. But when you focus on everything else, like say they came out with the latest iPhone to distract you from the fact that they mm-hmm. came out with this, and you're like, "What the fuck? Another iPhone? Blah blah blah." So you're focusing on that while they're releasing the Z Two, Z Three, and now Z Four. You're like, "When the fuck did they get on the Z Four? So I think. Um, whatever is going on, like whatever technology, whatever uh, biomedicine, whatever, anything that can move the world forward, technology-wise or mo- going towards the moon-wise, they're going to focus um, on other things, distract humanity from that. Mm-hmm. Remember, this is just my opinion. Uh, distract humanity from that while they slowly come out with that stuff. And then when they come out with it, you're going to be like, well, when did this happen? And you're just going to accept it because it's out. You see what I'm saying? That That's how I look at it. Um, and if you're not, and if you're one of those, um, as David says, when you throw conspiracy theories in front of it, people just don't pay attention mm-hmm. or disassociate themselves with it. Uh, when you, when you, if you're one, like, no one likes to, yeah. I don't know. No one likes to point out the elephant in the room. In the room. Exactly. It's like so, me. I see 12 elephants in the room every fucking day. But if you point them out, then you look, you it's look like, past oh, the crazy one. Crazy. Yeah. It's like, okay, so, I guess. So uh, that's that's how I look at it. So I mean, I guarantee you, there's there's stuff in the works because, mm-hmm. like you said, um, I didn't even know about the Elon Musk presentation until you said it. You see what I'm saying? Right. So it and it's like well, another perfect example is the cube on the moon. They stopped talking about it, or the cave on, on Mars, or the water that they found. Like everything, things are going on uh, in the, in the background, but nobody's paying attention to it because they're trying to it's focus. Like, what's the goal though? I don't know. Like, what is your goal of sneaking technology into society? To make it a smoother transition? Into what? I don't know. That's that's what I'm saying. I, I don't know. Because I, I think it's easier to slip it in there than to just say, here. Do we... Do you feel... <clears throat> humanity as a whole always thinks there's an end goal. And we realize there's never an end goal. It's just... Whatever lasts the longest. And that's a perfect example of Rick and Morty. Like, it's just like, okay, whatever idea lasts the longest, that's what it is. That's what it is. And if something new comes up, then we'll we'll move on. Because, like... It's like science. It's ever-changing. Right. Like... It's not absolute. It's ever-changing. Like, because... I I, I like listening to these, you know, videos where it's like, well, this is where we're going to be in X amount of years. And it's like, okay, but why? Why though? Do you think it's to Why are we going to be there? Why do we have to be there? Why why do we want to be there? Do you think when they come out with stuff like that it's to push us 
That's what I'm saying. They're faster. Like, I feel like we just predict, we set expectations for ourselves. Just to get But, there. like, why? You see what I'm saying? So they can have the, so they can come up with the next. The okay, next let's why. industrialize. But why? Because you wanna, you want more, more of what? Yeah. Resources. Right. Look to the stars. Like I'm, uh, like, I don't know. I don't know why though. Well, like I- and I'm not saying like. All this is pointless. None of this is pointless. Nah, nah. It's all being done. But it's for just reason. like, I want to, me personally, like, I want to start looking at reality as there's never an end goal for anything. There never is. It's just how long can you last? Well, look at it this way. And that's a perfect example because look at TV shows. Mm-hmm. Like, People watch TV shows because they know there's going to be an end goal. But when you keep pushing it and pushing it, like you said, they'll milk it until they can't milk it anymore. They'll, they'll, some people will start saying, I'm tired of it. What's new? Stop. We, we, we've covered this. We've done this. Why are we doing this again? Blah, blah, blah. It's the same thing with John Wick. What are we all saying? This needs to be the final last movie. Right. But if they come out with another one again, what are we going to say? Why are we milking that? Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You think we give us an end goal so we don't have an end goal? We never have an end goal. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. We have checkpoints or land... I think they should call it checkpoints and stuff in goals. Or milestones. Yes. They should call it goals instead of saying checkpoints. Uh, They should instead of end goals. But it's like... It never is because it's always evolving like science. Right. Like I said. Like, I, I understand, like, in terms of individual life, yeah, of course, there's an end to whatever you are doing. Mm-hmm. You as well. But in terms of, in general, like, in general, where we want to go with humanity, like, there is no end goal. We just do something until... There, people are always improving upon something. It's like, um, it's like Star Trek. Right. When you compare, um, when you compare uh, Picard to Voyager... Mm-hmm. The ships in Voyager were more advanced than Picard's. Yeah, that's right. You see what I'm saying? And when you compare, um, what was the what's the name of the? I can't, I keep forgetting. William Shatner played the, the Star Trek. Yeah. What's his name? The original one. Oh damn! You asked me the question. It just left my brain. Yeah, yeah. So Kirk. Saying. Kirk. When uh, Kirk, it's like comparing Kirk to Picard. In Kirk, they were just developing right. the, the, the technology to transport matter from this place to there, right. uh, which they had, but they couldn't do it while moving. But in Picard, they can do it. Like, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's not, it never ends. They're always improving on it. But it's They're always like, making something better. Why did they end up in that point where they wanted to, like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I understand it's resources, but it's like, what's the goal? You just want more? That's the humanity. You just want more? Humanity is constantly um, innovating, constantly working, and constantly wanting more. They don't know why they want more. They just It's, it's just part of the human trait. Entropy. Yes. So, to consistently want something better, stronger, taller... Um, more efficient. efficient, more innovative, easier, like you said. Right. Um, transformative. Transformative. Like, yeah, I know you were joking about the the sound bar you installed where you're like, oh, why did it come with a plug? You just wanted to wire the batteries to yeah. wire. Yeah. But th- that's the thing. It, even if it was a joke, that's 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 just how humanity is. They want something easier. Like um, Morgan, he says, he's like, uh, he's like, I go home every day and um, my smart house knows when I'm home. It's an Alexa house. It turns on my music. It turns on my my um, my uh, my my TV. It turns on my this. It turns on my lights, and I never have to do anything. He said for the first time ever, when the hurricane happened, he didn't know how to turn on anything because he was so used to Alexa doing everything for him. So he had to relearn how to do it. That's wild. Man. That is wild. That's, That's what wild I'm saying. To me. That's what I'm saying. He had to relearn how to do it because he was. It's so- like what happens when 
Like jumper. Everything's too easy. Like jumper. He was so used to using his teleporting powers everywhere that he forgot how to use a doorknob. A door, right. Because the simple act of opening a door was too mundane, inconvenient. <laughs> it's like he couldn't even door. open the door and walk through. He had to teleport through the teleport door. Teleport through the door. Through the door instead of actually walking through the door. That's which crazy. is, but that's what I'm saying. It's just the the innovation of humanity and how they are. They consistently want to keep going higher. But we want more, but do less. Exactly, so and the perfect example is Wally. So we just want to be computers. Wally. A computer does a lot while doing nothing at the same time. Yeah, at the same time, yeah. Like, it just sits there. I hope we don't become a Jupiter brain. That uh, would suck. We just meld into just one superior. One mind. Yeah, like, ugh. Ugh, That's lame and predictable. <laughs> Ew. That's you think, crazy. You think that's like a... You think that's like an uh, under uh, undertone or uh, underlying reason why uh they created a terminator so they made sure humanity wasn't didn't get to that point where they didn't do nothing so the machines kind of fought back and kept humanity wanting to get back to where they were if you understand what i'm saying i think it was just saying like destroy them yeah because it's like you do nothing so we'll destroy do something you. yeah so you can do something but i felt like they wanted to just wipe them all oh yeah they did yeah. And they they'd move. I felt like they'd move to the, the stars if they could. Yeah, no redemption in that. No, nah, fuck. That. Um, yeah, I just thought about it real quick. What's up? Uh, you know how we took a picture of, like the whole universe and shit, like 13, 14 billion years. Ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, that's probably a dumb question. No, there's no such thing as dumb questions. But what if we're in a segment of the universe that's near the end of time? That'd be awesome. You get what I'm saying? Like, we're the end part of the Big Bang. Oh, that'd be so cool. What would, what do you, what do you theorize would be the inner part? Like, closer? No, well, I don't know, a void. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We're stuck in that void. I don't know, like you... an omega black hole. I don't know. Like, the biggest black hole known to the universe, a universe-sized black, black hole. hole. Yeah, hey, you just brought something up that we watched yesterday too, the black hole. Yeah, like a like, cause if something explodes, isn't there like a, yep, you know, like a reverberation or some shit like that? I don't know if there's walls at the end of the universe. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just bullshitting. But uh, yeah, like, what if we were born? Like, what if we're new? In the Big Bang. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Like the Big Bang still... happened forever ago, mm -hmm. and of course, yeah, it did. Yeah, but like we're at the end of that, where it's like still spreading. Yeah, ah, I got what you're saying. So it's like an infinite... every civilization ev that has ever existed is right in the middle. But is at the beginning. At the beginning, but we're at the end. But we got dumbass lucky and happened to like sprout. That's a real dumb luck. That'd be some crazy shit. And then somehow we find like radio signals from like 13 billion years, years ago. ago. That's like saying if you get this message, we're dead. <laughs> not we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> we're dead. If you get this message, not we're dead. But like, I don't know. Don't send out contact. Yeah, gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you get this message, don't send out your contact. Because then they're going to come find like, you. Like, there could be something out there. Yeah, that's true. All right, you know. The basic... The unknown... Type of shit. <laughs> that type of shit. I don't know, man. Let's get up Some good go questions, ahead. man. Like I said, it's... Uh, it's different. Like, it, again, there might be... Uh, there might be an underline to it and again we've seen them sneak in technology without people paying attention to it unless you like i said you're one of those i i know what the world is doing and i'm not gonna pretend it doesn't exist i mean everyone's gonna make you look crazy but um that's just what it is like they'll slip it in without you knowing gordon p 
people notice. They just don't say Some, anything. not all. You'll be surprised. A lot of people can see things, but because everyone's participating in it... They choose to. Why not even... like why, why acknowledge it? Why acknowledge it and stick out and stand out? You know what I'm saying? Because they want to be like everybody why, else. Why am I going to... Well, NPCs. Yeah, that is everybody else. I need to blend in. No, that's literally everybody <laughs> else. That's literally uh, everybody. Like, if if that's if that's your frame of reference from it, you're living in their world. I know. You no, you're saying? right. You're right. You're living. It's in It's like their it's world. like being undercover. Yeah. Like you have to pretend. You have to pretend to be something you're not in order to. Um, walk through their sh- walk in their world. Yes, like right. you said, like why stand out, right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? What saying? Why stand out? You will not be paid kindly. For no, you. you won't. You won't. What? You just be. You'll be the martyr. History has taught me that. Man went a hundred years, mm-hmm. and he was right the whole fucking time. <laughs> Damn. And he was right the whole fucking time. The man said, hey, we go around the sun. <laughs> They're like, no, you dumb bitch. <laughs> hundred years passed, buried that man. Yep. And then they find out something new. Uh, like you said, work behind the scenes. Oh, cool little fact. Uh-huh. Um, Because of, you know, everything's relative. We all know this. Yeah. So, our plane, our solar plane, is 60 degrees perpendicular to the center of the galaxy. So, to the, to the galactic plane. So, this is the galaxy. Mm-hmm. This is how our solar system is flying through the galaxy. Oh, that's cool. Or like this. And the sun is the ball, and all the planets are just yeah. Because they show us how the yeah. how our um, how our uh, we actually look going through, and it's literally like a it's literally a giant comet belt ball of sp- plasma sp- with spiral spiraling planets orbs. That's fucking crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Don't tell people they'll think we're crazy. That's that's crazy, man. Yeah, that's awesome though. That's really dope. You see what I'm saying? But like. Technically, we're going around the sun like this. Like this, not like this. So we're the we're the comet trail. People think this is how we're going around it, but relative to us, that is. Yeah, because that's how the sun is spinning. True, true. Like if this is the galactic plane and everything is swirling around it, of course this is how the sun would spin. Spin. It's like it, when you fire a rifle. Yeah. Or, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. How does it travel? Like this. It spins. It spins. You see what I'm saying? And then whatever's in its gravitational well... Is what it's carrying with is it. Is what it's dragging from. Heading towards the singularity. That's fucking amazing. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Science. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's one goal for humanity. To be able to observe... The movement of galactic structures in real time. Oh, like to actually be able to get a telescope strong enough to just watch it? Like, watch some shit like that. Oh, that'd be crazy. Like, observe all the orbits of a solar system. That should be a technological goal. That'd be awesome. I feel like something that ambitious would change every field of science Science. forever you know something like that not to fucking play pong with my iphone (laughs) stuff oh man but me personally i think uh just to wrap that up just to wrap it up yeah um i personally think Gene editing, CRISPR, mRNA is going to be way ahead of its is time. going to solve that way before he perfects it. Gotcha. Yes, he'll have a product out, but to achieve the things that he's trying to achieve, like the neurodivergency, the the could be a lot less invasively uh-huh. done with 
all this gene shit. You know what I'm saying? Versus them punching a whole lot in your head. Replacing it with that. Sticking it with a quarter. <clears throat> and then now the quarter's telling your brain to communicate with something. Yeah. Or you could have stem cells to regrow uh, uh, nerve cells. Mm-hmm. You know, and then re-stimulate the nerves in the brain to get movement. And then coupled with assisted mobility technology. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, robotic braces. Robotic uh, prosthesis. Yeah, so just in case you somebody know? doesn't have a limb or Shit anything. Shit like that. Like, yeah. Maybe something like that can help you That would be more. That would be more plausible than... Because, like, 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 let's say if we if we went the iRobot route, right. where he, where he lost his arm, um, let's say the, the he gets a Neuralink, that would, would replace the arm, and then of course right. your brain would tell you that this is your new hand. Right. So the that would Neuralink make Neuralink would be the the interface between your brain and the nerve cells and the nerve cells instead of uh, your brain having to directly tell the arm to move, the Neuralink will. Ex- uh, uh, Mm. It will exceed the speed or whatever. It will. So basically, just like a regular right. hand. Like right. I'm moving my, I'm telling my brain to move my fingers right now, mm-hmm. and it's just, it's basically just like, right. it's just gonna be robotic. I get it. I see what you're saying. Yeah, something like that. That like makes if sense. If you wanted to assist in, like, you know, shit like that. See, cybernetic. It's just his presentation didn't tell what the direction he was going. He just gave you a little bit of everything, but he didn't tell you exactly where it was. No, I, 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 I know where he wants to go. Yeah. Like, uh, I'll, I'll... But the, your question is where the what's the what's the end goal? Yeah, man. Like, what are you really selling? Yeah. And well, you're not selling me shit. A cell phone product. Not, it's not for me. You know. Selling you the next iPhone. I'll be sixty by then, before it becomes like you just go into a Neuralink center and. And then update it. Get your kid neural linked. Yep. But, yeah. So, is it about that time, Joe? It's about that time. All right, guys. Thank you guys for joining us at the Tabletop. If you want to catch us Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Google Google Podcasts. <laughs> oh, sorry. We're on Spotify, Google Podcasts, TuneIn, Deezer, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. And if you want to catch us... On Wednesdays and Fridays, we are on YouTube, One Word Tabletop Topics, and we also have our Triple T Clips channel, uh, our secondary channel linked to the bottom. And shout out to our boy David with his Illusions channel. Check him out too. He's also on the bottom of our page. Um, and we also have our TikTok, which uh, if you want to see uh, sm- short clips, just in case you don't want to watch us ramble on for hours. Uh, check that out if you're interested go ahead and click on the link on our tiktok channel and then it'll take you straight to our page but uh thank you guys for joining us at the tabletop and of course we are back uh going to have plenty of interviews (laughs) for this month leading up until christmas and you guys have a good day night weekend and or evening thank you thank you